Hello everyone, and welcome to this video. Um, it's not going to be an ASMR video, but I'm posting it to this channel because I think that it might still be enjoyable and people might still want to see it. So, uh, if you don't like this and you want me to just stick solely to ASMR on this video, just drop a comment telling me, drop a dislike. Um, I'll take all feedback into account, but for this video I'm going to be doing a uh, hot sauce review and taste test. Um, I'm super excited for this. I even went and bought some toothpicks for the occasion, try to make it a little bit more professional. I didn't organize my desk at all, so um, can't be too professional now, can we? So, uh, I guess I'm just going to put each sauce onto the plate first. Kind of like, <laughs> I don't know, like an artist or something. What are those things called? Uh, we put the paint on. A palette? Probably not. Whoa. Okay. I guess the other challenge with this is remembering which sauce is which. Um, so, got a pretty big old glob of Heinz's 57 sauce. Uh, this is the uh, Ferran Habanero sauce. Um, just a little dabby brew. Pretty spicy. Um, sweet baby rays, honey chipotle sauce, chipotle, chipotle. Should be enough. I've been uh, meaning to do this video for a while now, so I've kind of been holding back on my sauce consumption because I've been running out. And I wanted to have a nice selection for this video, so... This is uh, Tabasco brand Spicy Cat's Put. And then the Hot Ones. First we feast its very own fiery chipotle. Um yeah, looking good. See, uh when I eat food, if I have like a lot of stuff on my plate, I don't like the food touching. I like to eat a section of it. So if I have like mashed potatoes and <laughs> like green beans and then turkey, I'm going to eat the mashed potatoes, the green beans, then the turkey or in whatever order, but I don't like to mix, mix and match. So hopefully the uh, sauces don't touch. This is the drunken garlic black bean sauce. So I haven't actually tried any of these three secret aardvark sauces. Ooh, very um, viscous. No, I can't ever remember what that word means. So there's maple syrup. I should just say molasses. That's a little bit more classic. Is molasses viscous or not viscous? I guess I could Google it, but I think it's just funner trying to figure it out on your own. Not that I'll get any closer to figuring it out just by thinking about it, but ah. Oh. So these sauces are running rampant on on this plate right now. Ah. Uh, 
maintain the integrity of this tasting, I'm going to sponge up. So the uh, viscous or non-viscous uh, secret art work sauces got mixed together. So I cleaned them up with a napkin and I'll just try those separately. For the uh, platform, I guess, the meat, using Hillshire Farms oven roasted turkey breast. Very nice basic flavor, you know. Ah, toothpick for looking good. Stick that boy right on there. I'm going to start with the Heinz 57 sauce. Bon appetit. Mm. Definitely heavily ketchupy. Um, and by which I mean the taste of tomatoes and vinegar. I'm no like connoisseur, but I am trying to work on my palate. Uh, <laughs> I'm tasting clam chowder, which I know is probably not correct, but that's just what my brain is telling me I taste right now a little bit. <laughs> so. I guess that's your sign to take the rest of this reviewing with a grain of salt, but um, the spice was very mild, very mild indeed. Uh, not even spice. They say it right here, zest. Zesty. I'm going to rate it like 6 out of 10. So. Heinz 57 sauce, I'm going to rate it right in between the 5 and the 7 and give her a 6 out of the 10. I really don't know where the scale comes from, but my intuition is telling me it's a 6 out of the 10. Maybe it'll change. Now, I'm going for the sweet baby rays on each portal sauce. Mm. So the first note that hits you is definitely the honey. Uh, same, very mildly spicy. Sweet Baby Rays is one of my favorite sauce brands of all time. Solid flavor in their repertoire. Say an 8 out of 10. It's pretty arbitrary, the numbers, but, and they're completely my own opinion. It really doesn't mean anything, but that's just how I like the sauces compared to each other, so. I'm going with the uh, spicy ketchup next, Tabasco's. I'm trying to just get the, just get the one sauce on there. The flavor pro profile is very similar to the 57 sauce. Um, the ketchup itself is a little bit more vinegary. The spices are uh, probably double the last two sauces. So I'm saying in spiciness, probably two out of the 10. Sweet Baby Ray's two out of the 10. This guy's probably a four out of the 10. Um, but overall sausage, 
sausage. <laughs> Seven out of ten. Good sauce. Um, spicy enough. You can eat a lot of it. It's fun. Kicks around in your mouth a little bit. Solid sauce. So how I've been ordering the sauces is pretty much in terms of how robust and how spicy and overpowering they are. So I actually went with the more hearty, flavorful sauces first because they're not that spicy. Um, I have some water here to, you know, cleanse the old palate. But, um, yeah, these guys are a nice, a nice base to, uh, start off with, you know, come in a pretty big bottle, uh, real basic, not to say bad, basic flavors that are just really solid, a nice foundation for, um, meats, sauces, uh, just good stuff all together. But now we're getting into the more delicate flavors. Um, I'm gonna go with the hot ones hot sauce right now. And as you could probably see, I don't have a lot of it left because I eat it so much, so... You know what? I think I just got the Ferran. We're gonna find out. That was the Ferran. Um... Guess we're on to this then. So, uh, I'd say this is the hottest sauce. The flavor is delicious though. Habanero has just such a sweet and just really uplifting flavor. Um, it just transitions you into the heat of the sauce very nicely. I don't think it's, it doesn't try to trick you, it doesn't sleep on you. Um, it's very upfront about what it is, and I respect it. Yeah, you get in the back of the throat, on the tongue a little bit. I feel it like right under the eyelids. Probably like a 6 out of 10 for heat. Um, maybe 7 out of 10, honestly. The sauce itself. I'm going 7 out of 10, you know, solid. If you're looking to really kick up the heat, you can eat this and it's not going to ruin your day or anything. So, yeah, it definitely adds a lot of flavor to any meal. Now for the hot ones, hot sauce. Just going to get a big old piece of meat for this guy. Very sweet, very sweet. Um, when I first had this hot sauce, I was pretty disappointed because I wanted to break into the upper echelons of heat. And, you know, this is the middle hot sauce, number five out of 10 on their show. So I was really looking for something that's gonna make me sweat. And this is definitely not that sauce. Um, 8 out of 10 flavor, very delicious, just slather up any piece of meat <laughs> that uh, you want with this and you're going to be having a great time. It's going to be a tasty meal. I think it's a pretty cool conversation piece, especially people who are into the show. So I'd recommend picking some up, giving it your, giving it a taste yourself, but uh, like I said, don't expect heat, expect sweet. Um, 
Yeah. I would say that's like probably uh, three out of the ten for heat, honestly. Spicy ketchup's more spicy. So now on to the secret aardvark sauce. The debate rages on whether this is viscous or not viscous. Um, super watery. I guess I'm just gonna dump it right onto the chicken. Or turkey. It's turkey. So, uh, this is the Drunken Jerk Jamaican Marinade. Wow, very earthy, nice little kick to it, you know it'd be really funny as if it was just really fucking hot and I just started dying on camera. Oh, what is that flavor? Okay, so soy sauce is the first ingredient that makes a lot of sense. Very salty. It's kind of like sweet a little bit, salty and sweet, a little, not caramel. Um, What this is teaching me is I definitely need to learn more about taste. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna save the habanero for last. This is the black bean drunken garlic sauce. Yeah, I don't know. That, uh, that Jamaican marinade still sticking with me here. I guess that means I should Cleanse my palate. Nah, fuck that. Let's go. Well, that's a good sauce. Definitely black beans, um, and garlic. You know, they're not lying to you here, folks. So I'm saying for spice, this is probably four out of 10. Um, for flavor, this is probably, not probably, I'm telling you, it's seven out of 10, this guy's eight out of 10. Um, this shit's good, maybe even nine out of 10. You know what, nine out of 10. I love garlic, I love black bean, I love sauce. Pick some of this up. Um, now we're going with the habanero. So we've had habanero in this guy, uh, habanero on the Tyrone, Tehran, Tehran, Ferron. Um, this is, uh, this isn't habanero. Never mind then. So, Let's see, I expect this to be uh, pretty spicy. I will cleanse my palate for this. I heard peanut butter is very good for uh, CYP, cleansing your palate for uh, the folks at home who aren't into uh, <laughs> just fucking with you. This is more viscous or less viscous. Uh, it's like six dabs. All right. Throwing the toothpick down. Putting the meat aside.
this sneaks up on you. Excuse me. Um, definitely hot. Not as hot as the Ferran though. Um, definitely more flavorful. I think my statements about how the flavor of the habanero plays into the heat uh, can go double for this because it's just like comes to your mouth you're like ooh what's up and it says come with me and it takes your tongue and does a little dance sweeps you off your feet brings you to Spicyville and says enjoy your stay so but honestly it's not that bad probably five out of the ten spicy um taste that one's eight out of ten so that's it for my sauce collection and I'm going to eat a lot of this aardvark sauce over the next couple of weeks I recommend picking some up all the sauces are good and yeah so hopefully you learn something or at least we're entertained I had a fun time and uh, thank you for watching have a good day